Let's go, boys! We did end up with 200 tonight, right on the button. Let's go, boys, go! All right. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. What we had today was uh, about eight or ten thousand geese. Some of them had just got here. They're feeding on the northeast end of a roost, quite a ways off, though, like half three quarters of a mile, but connected onto the same property. And they're just kind of leapfrogging. Go, boys! Go, go! But they were doing that in a south southeast wind. So go, boys, go. let him let him come, let him come, let him come, let him come. With the barley being in the northeast quarter. They were kind of flying ahead of the back of the flock. Go boys, go, go, go! Man, they get out of the way quick. Oh, watch these seven guys. Watch the two on the right. Keep coming. Good land, real little land. Keep coming. Go boys, go, go! Nice! Now that's shooting. So they'd, they'd get up into the wind, wheel, and kind of, instead of fly to the front of the flock, fly to the back of the flock. There we go, center up. Oh my God. Oh yeah, let him come, man. Go boys, go, go. Good shooting, gentlemen. Wait, 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 wait. Go boys, go, go. Did you get that blue one? I think, yeah. Uh, Dallas got that I one. I told them guys, if you guys see a blue one, shoot it. I was going to really wait a hair longer on those, but yeah. I wasn't because of blue there. Yeah, the blue is a good call. The way we decided to hunt this one, obviously, was we had, with the south wind, so we wanted to shoot them right in the face. Oh, yeah, bring them right in. Oh, yeah. Load quick. Oh my God, Travis. Go, go, go. Right <laughs> <laughs> Holy shot one time. Everything oh, died. <laughs> Everything died in range. Nice shooting, boys. More dead. birds, more birds. Fairly close to the roost from where they were actually feeding. So we pulled in quite a bit tighter. We got up on a hill and we knew there was this one draw that they, they kind of flew up. Go, go, go. Heavy hammer, baby. I watched it last night, and then I watched it again very carefully this morning. Here it come. Wait. Oh, yeah. Go, boys. Go, go, go. Go. Nice. We're mopping them up right now, man. I'm feeling good today. <laughs> We got three on the deck, three boys. Deck. Three low, three low. I feel bad. I killed the Ross with that last shot. So what we did is we ran the long leg 
on the east side, a real short leg on the west side. And of course they came up the draw. Some of them flew right over the rig, like low over our heads, and they'd wheel and they just did it. Little correction. Yep. Go oh, yeah. boys, go, 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 go. They had absolutely no clue we were in there today. Go boys, go, go, go. Right here. Oh. Uh, right there. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, already got him. <laughs> I know, but I didn't want you to have to chase him. <laughs> go, boys. Go, go. Load, get down. We got two coming over the top here. Oh, big flight. Leave these. Dive bomb socks were just, you know, whipping real right. nice in the wind. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> now those won't decoy. Just so show some discipline. Did Brad say go? No, no, no. Decoy where is doing it. We had a bunch of full bodies in there as well to add a bunch of realism. We might have to clear the hole. Over, turn a bit, turn a bit. Wait, 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 wait. Go, boys. Go. I missed that shot, I can't believe it. <laughs> they were so close. Go, go, go. And then me and three of the hunters had the Snow's decoy wear hoodies, and then Brad was wearing a Snow Goose Juvie hoodie, and they these birds had absolutely no clue tonight. Go boys, go, go, go! Go boys, go, go, go! Right you know, the only birds that didn't do it were the birds that were downwind when we shot, and that was it. Go, boys, go, go, go! Nice. Go, boys, go, go, go! Go, 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 guys. Oh, yeah, so good. Oh. Heads up. <laughs> Did that hit you? No. It was absolutely epic. Go, boys. Go, go. When you combine good spotting with good strategy and good gear, you're gonna have success. Boys, go, 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 go. Right up front, still, still, still. Close. Let him get close. Let him get close. Did you go that last time? Yeah, I did. Yep. Okay. Go again. Oh. Oh. Go, boys. Go, go. Heads up! Oh. <laughs> 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 Go boys! Straight up, straight over the top! <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! Heads up! Go. Heads up! Heads up! <laughs> nice shot! and Brad really was calling it perfectly. I mean, he'd wait for him to center up. Go boys, go, go, go!
go, boys. Go, go, go! Out oh, front. Heads up. Go, boys. Go, go, go! Oh, I didn't have the swing gun! I didn't load! What an amateur! <laughs> I only had one in my gun. Hmm, <laughs> pody face. We're using the Benelli Super Black Eagle 3s. That's my, you know, firearm of choice. And then we're using the Heavy Hammer 2s. Now we're shooting improved cylinder chokes and you'll see that some of these birds were in really close. I mean, we absolutely tricked them, fooled them and had these birds literally on our toes. But of course, in that wind when they flare, you're still called upon to make those long shots. Hold the two guys, hold on. There you go. It's all right, it's good. There'll be enough targets right here. Go boys, go, go, go. Let him come. Go, go, go. Nice shot. See, do you really need three and a half? No. <laughs> Not with the hammer. Go boys, go, go, go. Go boys. That IC choke doesn't handicap you on those 10 to 15 yard shots. And then the downrange energy of the heavy hammer coming out of there, all you need is a couple pellets and it hits so hard. I mean, it's like hitting a moose with a 300 wind mag. It hits them hard. So they come down and we made some very long shots tonight along with a bunch of really close shots. So, you know, they can, they can get out of there in a real big hurry. And when they do, they're gone. Oh, yeah. Go boys, go, go, go. You? Yeah. You know, they always center up for that tip of that spear, you know, and they're right right in front of the four of us. Go boys, go, go! Over the top! So that time I took... <sighs> you had to show us off this? I was gonna say. Never take a bunch of f***ing <laughs> boys to <laughs> mad sport. Go boys, go, go, go! See, the big difference, you do that in steel and they sit and quiver, right? They just, poof. This was full. <laughs> and I had a full box beside, oh boy, here we go. Go boys, go, go. Down low, right there. Load quick, get down. Shoot your zones, boys. Go boys, go, go. That was sweet. That was all of them. You know, we cut loose on them. It was windy, so we should have, you know, we probably could have wrapped it up a little quicker. We did end up with 200 tonight, right on the button. Oh, <laughs> look at this, cutting them off. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh come yeah. On. Let those ones go by. There they are, right there. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Come on over. Come on over. Jesus, right Come here. Come on over. Come on over. That's perfect. Go, boys. Go, go, go. That's kind of my favorite shot. Can't miss that shot. Gotta be straight over, just hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Cut him, boys! Two, three to go. <laughs> this stuff works 
85% of the pellets are steel and 15 are bismuth. And it's all coming out at 1,500 feet a second. Because it's hard to push that heavy stuff fast, right? Yeah. Brad said, hey, we better count. We're at 195. He went and got the truck. He found three more. We shot two more, and that was 200 even. Go, boys. Go, go, go. Couldn't ask for a more perfect, absolute perfect situation. We're going to get wrapped up here, take a bunch of photos. Well, guys, what did you think of that? It was incredible. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Yeah, your first so goose hunt. You're not much of a bird hunter either. No, they was like, the, I would say this guy was blacked out with them, but they were like, it was pointed out. It we, was. We shot him down. So we did. Solid. We did. And and uh, Dallas, you don't you do a bunch of bird hunting up north, but not really yeah, not, snow goose hunting? No. Nope. Haven't uh, snow goose hunted in a long, long time. Right. So. And Brett, this is your third time with us now in the spring. and. You finally got the 200. It's by far our best shoot so far. It was, it was yeah, you know, it really was. Like tonight was, you know, nothing short of fantastic. I mean, we had high winds, and you know that made the shooting a little more challenging. I mean, I've been on these where you have those five to six mile an hour winds. So imagine the same birds presented the way we had them, but no flaring. It's just like, so I mean, you know, I'm sure most of us made a few triples tonight, but I mean, I think singles and doubles were the norm because it was so windy and. And Brad, thanks. Great calls tonight, man. It was really good. The patience of Job, like you just let him slide right in front of us. And I mean, some of those birds were literally five yards off our toes and then the full layer. And, and you know, that's experience right there. Cause if he called those first four or five at 15 yards, those back ones that he's looking at are 45, but he let those ones get to five. Those ones were 25. And I mean, I mean, he knows. Yep. And he called it too. He said, we better count. We were at 195. And, Thanks again, Brad, and I know one thing, it's cocktail hour. Oh, yeah.